Osborne St. George, thank you so much for talking to Daily Blast Live. Our American audience likely knows you best from your time dating Prince Harry. You were 25 years old. How anxiety provoking was that? <laughs> yes. Um, uh, that's such a, um, what a nice angle to, to deliver that question. Because, um, uh, yeah, a, a bit, yeah. a lot, yeah, a lot. So much so that when I applied to do the Great Pottery Throwdown, I thought to myself, why? This is not why I began pottery. Why am I putting myself back in mm. front of the camera? So then I put myself back out there and, um, and had a magic time doing it, I have to say. That's wonderful to hear. Talk to me about pottery. Okay, so you found pottery yeah. after being very open about a postnatal, or as we say in America, postpartum depression. I found cross stitching for my anxiety was really, really helpful. It kept my Amazing. hands busy. You know what I mean? So talk to me yes. about why pottery spoke to you. I was incredibly lucky because, as you know, I, I suffered postpartum depression. Yeah. And it came out of nowhere. I didn't understand. There I was with this beautiful baby, and I and I was so low wow. and so and so lonely. People often don't understand there's this loneliness when you have a baby. Certainly for me, and I was at a loss. Mm. I didn't know where to look, left, right. So suddenly I bought a bag of air drying clay. Very simple. Anyone can do it. You don't need a kiln. You don't need a wheel. Just mm. a bag on Amazon or whatever, and. I stuck my fingers into a little ball and I made a pinch pot. Mm. And that was six, seven years ago. Wow. And, and, and now I'm here and, and, it's, and it's magic. Wow. You st it's, when someone's been through that, and on our show we're very open uh, with this, uh, people know I've been through depression, people know Sam, our co-host, had postpartum depression, um, Jeff's wife, Jordan, had postpartum depression. Um, you need yeah. something to get you out of the hole. So when I do think of pottery and my needlework and all of that, we I think of sort of relaxing, creative. It's not this like fierce competition show. So tell our American audience why they need to watch the Great Pottery Throwdown. Talk to me. So the Great Pottery Throwdown is is a magical show because it's gentle. And right now yeah. we're not needing aggressive, angry TV. We want something to be able to just chill, yes. relax, and feel inspired. It, it's like the Great British Bake Off. It's just like that that sense of just calm when you watch the show. Yes. Which is made made by the same made by the same gang. Well, so yeah. I'm in. I'm also obsessed with you, so that's great. Florence St. George, thank you for chatting with us. Thanks for being open. And I just have to say, I know it's scary, but for all the moms out there, I just I'm, I'm thankful that you see someone succeed and get out of the hole because it is possible. And if you are struggling, please find someone that's really part of the journey, don't you think? Absolutely. Equally, if anyone wants to get in contact with me and, and work out how to, to start their craft, how to build, how to make pottery, please don't hesitate to contact me on my Instagram account is the best way to, to, to ask questions about pottery. Wow. And I love your pottery. It's so cool. Like you make great stuff. It's very rad stuff. Thank you. I Yeah, it's total pleasure and, and I can't recommend it enough to everyone. Amazing. Have you seen the movie Ghost? Where they do the pot? Okay. I, I have. I, I, I do occasionally think that Patrick Swayze is behind me, just kind of doing things. I think about it. Patrick Swayze is behind me every day, trust me. Thank you so much. I think we all need a bit of Patrick Swayze. We all need some you know? Swayze. Oh, thank you so much for chatting with us. And to see her in action, please check out The Great Pottery Throwdown, streaming on HBO Max. I know I will be. We'll be right back.